Welcome to this James Bike Guide. Today, we're doing something a bit different than the typical bike reviews you'd see. I'm gonna be showing off my brand new bike, but uh, it's a new bike that I'm gonna need your help with. So while we get this unboxed, I'll talk to you about what I was looking for in my new bike, as well as I'm really hoping that you're gonna be able to help me with thinking through what the heck's gonna be needed to build this thing up. Well, anyways, without any further ado, let's start unboxing the bike. Right in front of us here is a little bit of a nondescript box. And uh, let me just get my truck bed out of the way. So when I was looking for a new bike, bu bike, I was looking for something that was gonna be somewhere on the shorter travel side of things that would complement a longer travel bike. So last year I was rocking the 2021 Stump Jumper, and that was an absolutely awesome bike. However, it's a one trick pony. So now I'm looking for two ponies to do two tricks or something like that. And in here, hopefully, can you see it? It's looking pretty cool. But in here, what I was looking for is a shorter travel bike that's gonna have uh, the capability of being a little more slack and a little more modern in geometry. And then I was also looking for something with internal frame storage, but an aluminum frame simply because I wanted to save a little bit of cash. And with any luck, <gasps> here you go. Any ideas what this is? So as I pull this out of the packaging, I'm betting that this is gonna be pretty apparent what I went ahead and went with. But essentially this checked all of the boxes I was looking for. Hold on. There we go. Simple enough. But that's right, right here, we've got the new Trek top fuel frame set. So this would be essentially the frame and color that you would have gotten if you were getting a, a, a Top Fuel 8. And at least in my opinion, there's a bunch of good reasons to go for this bike in 2022. The first one's gonna be the front end can run either 120 or 130 millimeter front fork. It's got 120 millimeters of Trex ABP rear suspension. So it's got that active braking pivot with the concentric bearing. Fox Float DPS shock. And what's really cool is it's one of the few alloy full suspension frames on the market that have internal frame storage. Now, I've always been a little bit of a hater of this internal frame storage, basically thinking that it was totally unnecessary. That was until I owned a bike with internal frame storage. Once you have that, I could not imagine going back without it. Other thing, threaded bottom bracket down there, 66 degree head tube angle or 66.4, depending on uh, the position of your minnow link. So adjustable geometry and overall, just a real rad looking bike to be able to do a build. Now, of course, I'll be doing a full video on this frame later on, breaking down the weight, the construction of the bike, features, things like that. But this is where I'm gonna need your help beginning to think. So this bike set up now is essentially probably gonna replace Project TriFox, at least for the time being. So if this was your bike and you were building it to be a cross country or down country bike, what fork would you rock on it? What drivetrain would you put on it? What wheels? Basically help me down below with what you would put on this bike. And well, those suggestions are gonna help me choose the parts for the bike so that it doesn't end up like my Project Marlin that still hasn't gone anywhere because I can't make a decision to save my life. But instead, we're going to end up with a beautifully built up down country Trek top fuel. So if it was your bike, what would you build it up with? I'd really love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm going to link at the end of this video to my review of the top fuel eight. Same frame, but fully built out from Trek. And then finally, what do you think that long travel bike is that's coming here soon? Well, anyways, thanks so much for watching this video and can't wait to see you in a regularly scheduled one next time.